Hi guys, it's Christina, and this is a project share. Um, last night at Charming Custom Crafts, um, she went live on Ustream to um, show how to make this this rocking chair um, out of clothespins. And I mean, it's totally made out of clothespins. Um, and that was Constance. Um, well, she also goes by Connie at Charming Custom Crafts. That's her her YouTube, her uh, Ustream, her Facebook, everything. That's Connie at Charming Custom Crafts. And um, she, uh, so she showed us live how to do this. And then it was up to us to decorate it um, and submit, you know, a finished product picture to her. And, um, so this is what I came up with. I, I'm turning mine into a pin, pin cushion, and that's what she did with hers originally. Um, but not everybody was going to do that. But um, So first off, I mean, you'd, you'd have to see the, the tutorial on how to put the, the chair together. It, it's more difficult than what you would think. And, and mine came out a little crooked, you know, like the arm is a little bent. But it's okay. And th so to decorate it, what I did is um let me get it to zoom and focus there we go on um on these flowers right here this is a tutorial from um <clears throat> excuse me pinkaboo 6691 on youtube I, I don't know her name but um but that's her youtube channel and if I can, I'll link all these people at the bottom, but I'm not real sure that I'll know how to do that. But um, I made these. They, they're more like carnations, I guess. Um, these, and then this one right here. Uh, they're like on one of the, the photo books, the minis that I had done earlier, a couple of weeks, about a month or so back, I guess. But I, I did these two bigger ones, and then the smaller one is, it's kind of a rust color. It's hard to see. I'm sorry, it's really late. There we go. Um, and so I'm having to do this like in a real, like in the middle of my craft room. I can't even use my craft desk because of the lighting. Um, and then these paper roses I made myself also. Um, and I sprayed some, um, oh, it's the Tim Holtz. Um, hold on. Sorry, not Tim Holtz. Um, where is it, Tim? Oh my goodness, I am not prepared. A ranger. Okay, made by a ranger. Um, where am I at? The Perfect Pearls Mist. This is heirloom gold. Um, is what I sprayed on the roses. I, I, I used a tan cardstock, and then I, after the rose was completed, I inked around the edges with a dark brown um, stamp pad. And with this one, it's a dark brown um, cardstock, and I didn't ink, I used to use my, um, my Bic marker to go around the edges on those. Those are really, really tiny, um, just to give you an idea of how small they are. Um, that is a dime, right? And one of those little rosebuds. I mean, they are just really super tiny. They're a little difficult to make too, <laughs> but um, but definitely worth it. I mean, they come out really pretty. So um, those the rose roses I um got on a tutorial, or I learned how to make from a tutorial from Ming, um, and her YouTube is JJ Showers, um, and if you go to my playlist, you can see most of these these tutorials. I have them. On the flowers, I have them listed under embellishments, um, so you can find those people also from my YouTube. Um, and then the leaves, I made the leaves also, because um, I just wanted to have a little bit of greenery in there. And the leaves I did on a, I did a tutorial from um, Elsa Just a Few, is her, her YouTube. I think she actually has a couple of different YouTubes, but this is the one that I follow. Um, and all you do on that is, I took a piece of the the tan cardstock um, that I used for the roses, 
and I colored it with my Bic marker, um, is that this one right here, the key lime. I just colored it and I didn't worry about coloring perfect because um, I wanted some, you can't tell in the video but there's like some different shading in there and that's because you know it's the tan cardstock um, but then you take your piece of cardstock it's probably about an inch and a half two inches wide you fold it in half you cut out your leaf pattern like like this right here okay and then you run it through your um, your paper crimper diagonally so that's what gives it that shape when you open it up it looks like a leaf and then this is the the same material it's kind of a, a woven burlapy type material I bought it a very very long time ago to make purses out of and this was just in scraps I'm really bad about hanging on to everything and um, so I just it matches the seat and so I just stuck a few pieces in there in the corner and then I put two pieces of a, a pearl spray back here also um, so then the, the seat, I just used um, two little pieces of foam board and glued it together. It looks really big, but it's just, they're really, it's just foam board. And then um, I put the material over it um, and left room and I stuffed cotton up in, inside of it. So it, it's cushy. And then just glued it down in the seat. And then I put two more roses down here. Um, oh, and overall for the, the chair, um, you know, she told us we could paint it or whatever if we wanted to. I didn't want to paint it. I wanted it to have the natural um, wood color. So um, all I did is I, I left it alone and I, I just dyed it with coffee, which Constance, I think you had mentioned last night, but originally um, I heard of that technique on, a, on Christy's YouTube channel, um, Twins For Me Too. Um, and that's Christy. She has a lot of really pretty things on hers also on her YouTube. Um, so that is my rocking chair pin cushion. Um, and I hope you guys like it. Leave me comments and let me know what you think. Really appreciate it. Oh, and that's my Imagine in the background. I'm really sad. My expression right there, my poor expression. Um, I bought it in November of 2010. And my friend at work was told at the last minute yesterday that she had to put together this big bulletin board. So I, we have a Cricut at work that we use for the bulletin boards. And I told her, I said, well, you know, tomorrow just come pick me up. I'll bring my expression. I'll even bring some of my cartridges. And, you know, that way we'll have two of them going at once and get it done quicker. So when she came to get me today, I was packing everything up and I dropped my expression. Dropped it right on its side, um, on the end. I was so, so upset. And I thought, well, maybe it's still fine. You know, it didn't, nothing looked cracked or anything. So I went up to work, got it all plugged up, and no, it, it's not working. It's busted. There was some little pieces that were rattling around in there. So I'm gonna have to find another expression. And I don't, I don't want an expression too. Um, I really like the original expression. So, anyway, that's my sad news for today. For And today's National Scrapbooking Day. So, it's kind of sad that I broke it on National Scrapbooking Day. Um, but anyway, let me know what you think of the rocker. Um, and I'd love to hear comments. Thanks. Bye.